Hello, my name is Angel Huape and I am doing the Do Your Best Challenge. So I was assigned by Mr. Fortune, my psychology one teacher, to do my best for a whole 24 hours and I decided to do my best on Sunday, which was the 19th. And I chose this day because it's also my it was also my mom's birthday. And I thought this would be a pretty good opportunity to do my best. So on Sunday, I basically just woke up as usual. But instead, um, right when I woke up, I immediately just cleaned my room, made my bed, and just started my day. I had breakfast, which is pretty different for me because I don't usually take the time out of the day to make myself breakfast or anything. I'll usually just snack on something, which I thought was a pretty big difference compared to other days. And my mom was currently, at the time, she was at work, and she didn't get off until around five o'clock. And I had made plans for us to go eat dinner in Visalia at Olive Garden, because it's one of her favorite places to go. Um, and so, with my day, I just got ready and I waited until 5 o'clock to go pick her up because she needed to change and stuff for us to go out to eat. And so then I picked her up and we got ready and we took off to Visalia and I um, actually drove us there because she's not like a really big fan of driving, especially in this hot weather. She doesn't really like having to drive and whatnot. So I drove us up there and we got there, we had to wait a little while and she kind of wanted to just go home because she was really hungry but I told her that it would be worth the wait and I tried to keep like a positive attitude like to not make sure her birthday wasn't spoiled by this unfortunate wait time. So then we waited and then we got called shortly after didn't take that long because we were just a small party and um, we ate and whatnot and then on our ride home I thought we were just gonna be driving home and stuff but actually something pretty crazy happened and we had almost gotten into a car accident because of another vehicle and right when we were coming home from Visalia there was a, a car that had like um, switched lanes to right in front of me. I was on the left lane and he was coming from the right. And at first I didn't think anything of it. I just thought like he was just driving wherever he had to go until I saw his blinker turn to switch over to the right lane. And he wasn't aware that there was another car like right next to him. And so I saw him starting to go towards the right and so did the other car because the other car had moved over out of the lanes and so it was on the side and like I couldn't do anything so the first thing that came into my head was to honk to like alert the driver to, from him hitting the other car and it worked so he hurried like back over to my lane and the other car had moved back over into the other lane so then um first thing that popped into my head was Something is probably like going on or he's like not paying attention or something. So then he just kept braking and like in the middle of the, like the freeway, just like not like full on brakes, but like brakes. And then I immediately thought that we should like probably call the police or something because something's like definitely up with this guy. So I had my mom dial the police number and as she was calling, they had actually did the same thing again, but to another car. So, but this time it was much worse because they actually touched, unlike the other car, it did not move over to avoid it from the other car hitting it. It actually hit the car, and the car that was like driving recklessly was able to make it off the freeway. And I don't know how that happened, but we were very lucky that nothing had happened worse or to anyone else, especially me and my mom, because that would not have been a good thing for anyone, especially upcoming drivers. But I was very thankful that he had at least gotten off the freeway and hopefully like pulled over or something 
or had made it home safely because if he was to have stayed on the freeway, I don't think that he could have drove any further. So, yeah. And in so that I'm second time, I'm going to try to wrap this video up pretty quickly because my phone keeps saying that it is running out of storage. So, it's finally ended. Um, I was very grateful and thankful that um, we were able to make it out. Or not out, but like make it home safe without anything happening to us because that would not have been a good thing especially on my mom's birthday that would not have been good but she was very happy that I am a good and responsible driver and I had honked to alert the other drivers that something was happening and um, we ended the night with my sister actually she had bought my mom a birthday cake and um, I believe that it was a pretty good day and um, when driving, I had always made sure that I was okay, but something that my mom had always told me is that even though like I am a good driver, that other drivers might not be the best, which now I finally realized is actually true. So a helpful tip to anyone out there, um, you can trust yourself in driving, but you can never trust other drivers, so always stay alert and watch out for what others might be doing because it can endanger them or yourself or even other people and um, I enjoyed doing this challenge and my mom actually enjoyed for me doing this challenge because she said this is the most that I've ever like cleaned up and stuff especially in my room and everything which isn't that true but I guess I'll take her word on it and the challenge was pretty difficult, especially with what happened in that day with trying to not panic or freak out or freak my mom out. I just tried to keep as calm as possible and keep her day going good. And I enjoyed doing this because it made me realize how much more I could do. So to conclude this video, I overall enjoyed this challenge very much and I also would recommend to many other students or people in general to just do your best you don't have to review your day like how I'm doing on this video but just in your own mindset just kind of keep that positive attitude to always keep doing your best because we are all people and we have so much more in us that we can do <laughs> okay bye